How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Equilibrium Jams. It's been a bit since I dropped an Equilibrium review in the form of their time. Um, this is a lower ABV version of one of their D-Hop series. Pretty sure I remember that from one of their posts. Anyway, um, Equilibrium, they're not super far away from me, about an hour and 20 minutes, but I don't get up that way all that often. A lot of the beers that they release, if they're not doing like a big barrel-aged beer, which you'd expect to be high in ABV, or like one of their kind of um, spontaneous, wild culture beers, a lot of their hazies end up being quite high in ABV, 8 plus, 10 plus. This is 6 and change. What is it again? 6.2. So it kind of piqued my interest. I wanted to go out on a little bit of a road trip today uh, with Taco. Taco's getting older. He hasn't made a video cameo in quite a while. It's winter, so I can't really do the outside stuff. And my room here is kind of weird. I just have to, like, drop him on my table. Anyway, um, I kind of want to take him out because he's still in his learning stages. He's almost six months old. I wanted to take him to some breweries to kind of get him acclimated to humans. Humans. And equilibrium. And those breweries up in that way are very dog friendly. So we went there on release day. We picked this up. Here we go. Uh, what does it say in here? Is a uh, time India Pale Ale. It is six two six point two five percent alcohol by volume. This is super hyper fresh. It says that was canned on a fourth. I don't know what today is though. I think it's like the seventh or something like that or eighth. So it's fresh. And that be that. Um, like I said, I'm almost positive this is part of their D Hop series or a spinoff, a lower EV. EBV version. Do you have two, maybe? I could be wrong. So let's crack in this sucker, see what she's got. I did take a sippy poo of this at the brewery, so we're not going on it totally blind, but that was eight hours ago, and it wasn't that much, so anyway, what do we got here? Label-wise, I can dig it, you know? It's a, you know, what is it, hourglass? Um, you know, with a little bit of funky coloring in it, and pretty simple, probably one of the more nondescript kind of plain Jane kind of labels when it comes to equilibrium. I can get down with that. Um, label, or beer wise, um, I mean, I kind of dig it. It's very vibrant yellow. It's got that creamy, nice, fluffy head, a little bit of soapiness on the edges. Quarter pinky finger, nothing too crazy. While the body is hazy, is kind of what you'd expect from new school kind of hazy pale ale or IPA. It has this added bump of vibrance to it. It's like bright yellow. Yeah, so I kind of dig that. See what the nose has. <sighs> yeah, it's an equilibrium beer. I mean, the way those hops come off in their beers, they're usually very expressive in a tropical fruit, stone fruit, melon kind of way. But they always follow with this kind of soft green hop palette, slightly grassy note, which I always dig, especially in their lower ABV beers where there's not a huge sweetness component or like a, some kind of weird adjunct like lactose or marshmallow or some bullshit like that kind of getting in the way. So yeah, you get that nice rich menage of those stone fruits in that, in that uh, tropical fruit. Uh, that plays quite nice. And, and, and the uniqueness of it is I get almost always get citrus in a lot of beers. Um, so much so that it's kind of an afterthought sometimes. I forget to mention, I'd be like, yeah, of course there's citrus in there. I'm not really getting that much in here. If it is, it's like a candied, almost like a lemon bar kind of citrus as opposed to just a straight up OJ kind of mixture. And I kind of dig that in here. So you have that little bit of green portion floating around the other end. Nothing too crazy. It's not dank. It's not rank. It's not super weed. It's more like a fresh cut grass, unkept lawn kind of greenness going on. It smells quite nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's delicious. I mean, that's what Equilibrium does for me. Uh, you go back to my first reviews of these guys, and really what did it for me um, from these guys, I believe it was MC Squared, and more importantly, it was Photon. Those are the two first two beers I had from these guys, and this is like a couple weeks into they opened years ago. And it was the low ABV version of Photon that really did it for me because it had hop expression. It had the mouthfeel. It had the water nerd thing that they know so well. And it just came together. And this reminds me of that. Sure. It's about 2% higher. But this drinks what it should be. It's 6% and change. 6.25. But you're getting that nice kind of mixture of those soft stone fruits. It's almost like um. I want to say almost like pear. 
It's not necessarily your typical pear, but it's a mixture of like a peachy pear kind of vibe. On the other end of things, you have that nice kind of melon leaning, kind of citrus tropical, not citrus, tropical fruit leaningness on it. That doesn't get in the way. It's sweet, but not even close to overly sweet. You get this nice soft dryness that kind of tempers down a little bit of that kind of sweetness that makes it a little bit more approachable. But you get that green grassiness. I love so much that not a lot of people pull off. And when you combine those flavors together, when you get that melon leaning, heavy melon leaning, then your tropical fruit with that kind of pear stone fruit kind of mixture with that nice green grass, that nice kind of soft, very subtle dryness that keeps it from being even close to overly sweet and combine it with that super sultry, water nerdy mouthfeel, it's really some of the best hazies in the game. I always forget how much I dig Equilibrium beers, um, especially in low ABV stuff. Listen, straight out of Laboratory, I reviewed it last year. It was my favorite IPA I had all of last year. I think either it was one or two. It was tied between that and Verdant's Putty. So it was basically 1A, 1B. I love that beer. And that's like 10 and change. So it's not like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't like those high ABV hazies. But when you can give me this kind of mouthfeel, expression, flavor, the whole nine in the hazy format at a relatively low ABV, that's what works for me. And this is what I really love when Equilibrium kind of dials these beers in like this. This is the stuff I want to wait in line for. Actually, scratch that. I don't want to wait in line for shit. If I wait in line, I want it to end up being this beer at the end of that line. If that makes any sense to you guys out there. And that's the thing. You know, I went to the brewery today. I brought taco with me. I was like, okay, I'll get there like half an hour, 45 minutes early, have a couple beers, release, head out. Well... Taco's a puppy, and he likes to throw up in the car. I had to stop three times because he threw up three times. So I got there right when it released. I was like, okay, whatever. I'll have to wait in line. No line. No line for this. I mean, they had three different bottles released. and it's Sure, they do a lot of beer releases nowadays. Every Saturday is a release. But it's the stuff that you know people kind of pass by and I think is some of the better stuff that they produce. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic beer. If you're talking about the Hazy Game, they're probably one of, if not my favorite hazy breweries especially when it's the lower abv stuff absolutely delicious there's other ones that are great but i forget how how good it is it's so close to me i should go up more often anyway uh, let's cut back to the beer instead of me kind of waxing poetic about equilibrium um is this one of the better lower abv ipa pale ales that i've had as of late yes this is up there up there towards the top is it mount rushmore it certainly could be Pretty damn tasty stuff. I'll have to dissect it a little bit more. Absolutely fantastic. Value and availability. I think I paid 16 bucks for this. I think that's what they charge for this. Yeah, I'm almost positive. Usually lower ABV hazies, I want it to be more towards 14, but this one I have no problem with that price point. And leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like new school hazies, not afraid with a little bit of soft green on the end, you like a sultry mouthfeel. I feel like good hazies, man. I mean, this is kind of like King Shit of Fuck Mountain stuff. So if you dig that, you'll dig this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a little hazy low ABV jam right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.